Is now a good time to buy a home in Ocala? Well, that is the $64,000 question now, isn't it? Because we all know that the housing market is shifting and overall it's a pretty confusing place right now. Everybody wants to know if they should buy now or wait until prices fall or interest rates drop or are things going to get even worse? So in today's video, I'm going to try and break it down a little and help you figure out if now is the right time to buy that new home that you've been dreaming about. Now, before I get started, I have to tell you that full disclosure, I am pretty solidly in the yes, it's a good time to buy camp. And before you say it, it's not just because I'm a real estate agent and that's how I make a living. Although I am a real estate agent and that is how I make a living. <laughs> but I'm not one of those agents who's going to tell you that it's always the right time to buy a home or the right time to sell one for that matter. Trust me, I've lost more sales than I care to think about because I told my client that buying or selling might not be exactly what they needed to do at the time that they were thinking about doing it. And then when they thought it over, they agreed with me. So they didn't wind up buying or selling after all. But I have been doing this for a while now, and I've been through a lot of different markets. And one thing that has been true in all of them is that with very few exceptions, buying is nearly always better than renting, as long as you're buying for the right reasons and being sensible about it. So why on earth, given home prices and interest rates, do I think that now is a good time to buy a home? Well, bear with me a minute and I'll give you a few reasons why. Well, okay, I'll give you six reasons why. First of all, pretty much no matter where you live, unless your house is paid off or you live with your parents, you're paying a mortgage. Just maybe not your own mortgage. If you're renting, you're paying your landlord's mortgage. And well, I'm pretty sure he's probably really grateful for that. It's doing you no good at all. On the other hand, if you were paying that money towards your own mortgage, you'd be building equity. And equity in your own home is kind of like having a giant piggy bank. Just saying. Secondly, when you buy a home, that place is yours and you can do whatever you want with it. Paint the walls, change out the countertops. Heck, you could rip out a couple of walls and put it in an indoor bowling alley if you want to. As long as you got the space and the cash to do it anyway. Try that in a rental sometime. But before you do, take my word for it, it won't end well for you. And even if it did, your landlord would just raise the rent on you because you just upped his rental value. Which brings me to reason number three. Your rental rate can change every year when your lease renews. And sometimes it can change a lot. Yeah, you can move, but then you have to come up with new deposits and pay for moving expenses, and it's just a whole lot of hassle. And no guarantees that you won't have to do it all over again next year. That doesn't happen with a mortgage. With a fixed rate mortgage, you know exactly what your payment will be every single month for the life year long. No surprises and no price hikes, ever, for as long as you own your home. And believe it or not, your monthly mortgage payment might wind up being less than your monthly rental payment was. You might be surprised how often that's true. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. My husband and I have a friend, we'll call her Betty, who was a diehard renter. She was retired and on a budget, and she'd been renting the same house for years. She was every landlord's dream, kept the place neat as a pin, you know the drill. Well, for years, I tried to convince Betty to buy a house. And for years, she kept telling me that, nope, couldn't afford it. She was on a budget, and besides, in order to come up with a down payment, she'd have to dig into her pension. And she didn't want to do that. Plus, she absolutely loved the neighborhood she lived in, and she didn't want to move. Well, time went by, and one day, Betty called me in a panic. Her landlord had decided to raise the rent on her home, and she couldn't afford it anymore. So she had to find a new home to rent stat. Well, problem was, Betty also had four adorable little dogs, and even though I love dogs, and those dogs were probably the most well-behaved dogs that I've ever been around, finding a landlord that will allow multiple dogs is kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. And finding one that has a reasonable monthly rent to boot, well, that's even tougher. So, because we weren't having any luck finding another rental, I finally managed to convince Betty to at least consider buying a home instead of renting again. I set her up with my favorite lender, and we went out and looked at a few homes in her same neighborhood. And you know what? She wound up buying a home that she loved right in her own neighborhood, and her mortgage payment actually wound up being about $100 less than what she'd been paying in rent. And that was a few years ago now, so her mortgage payment is about half what she'd be paying if she were renting today. To this day, she actually still thanks me for talking her into buying that house. <laughs> True story. 
As an example, our average rent for a single family home here in Ocala is right in the neighborhood of $2,000 a month. Some are higher and some lower, but let's just use that figure for now. So if you can afford a $2,000 a month rent payment, let's look at this mortgage calculator from Google and see what that same $2,000 a month could get you if you were buying a home instead. With a 20% down payment, that $2,000 gives you a purchase price of about $290,000 at today's interest rate. And even if you've only got 5%, you can still manage a purchase price of about $235,000. Kind of gives you something to think about, doesn't it? And we also have a whole lot of property here in Marion County that qualifies for USDA financing, which allows you to buy a home with zero down payment as long as both you and the home qualify. Now, reason number four is inventory. Inventory is rising. Just a year ago, we had less than a month's supply of homes on the market. Right now, we have about three months worth, and even though that's still considered a seller's market, it's still a good thing for you as a buyer. More inventory means more homes to choose from. So no more bidding wars like we had before, because every available home had four people who were desperate to have it. Now, you can actually look at a home and then go home and think about it for a day or two, instead of bringing a completed contract with you to every showing. Another reason that now is a good time to buy a home is that November and December tend to be slower times of the year for home sales, so you're going to have less competition. Unlike in the spring, when everybody starts gearing back up. Again, less competition means more negotiating room. Sellers are still pretty much used to homes going under contract in a matter of days, so when they sit there for a week or two, and maybe even longer, sellers start to get nervous. And an anxious seller is way more open to things like closing costs, credits, and inspection repairs. So now you're thinking, well, home prices are so high right now, and if I just wait until the market crashes, I'll get a better deal. Well, it's not a bad theory, but odds are that's not going to happen. Home prices aren't likely to lose all the appreciation that they've gained. They might drop a little, but not that much. <laughs> Most industry experts think that home prices will stay pretty flat for at least the next year, and then head back to a more normal appreciation rate of between 3 and 4% per year. And besides that, if you really want to buy a home, trying to time the market is almost never a good idea. I was working with a guy back in March and April of last year, we'll call him Dave. And being in Florida, sometimes there can be a little bit of sticker shock when people are moving here from other states. So anyway, Dave came here from a somewhat colder state, shall we say, in order to buy a home here where it's warm. Said he was tired of dealing with winters. Well, Dave wanted a home pretty much like the one he was living in now, and he had a pretty sizable wish list. And it was pretty obvious from his reaction to our home prices that where he was from, property values had not kept up with the ones we have here. So after weeks of looking, he decided that local home prices were way too inflated and that he'd just go home and wait for the crash. Well, I guess you can figure out how that worked out. Yep, he's still shoveling snow and scraping ice off his windshield every morning in the winter. Still waiting for that crash, over a year later. Don't be Dave. But what about interest rates? I know, you're probably saying that interest rates are too high to buy a home right now. Probably best to wait until they go down. And again, that's a valid point, and depending on your situation, you might be right about that. But we real estate agents have another pithy little saying about that. <laughs> Marry the house, date the rate. Meaning, if you need to buy a home and you find one that you love and can make it happen, then go for it. If interest rates go down and you have equity, you can always refinance. And if rates go up, and they just might, well, then you're going to be pretty glad that you didn't wait. Because there's no guarantee that rates will be going down anytime soon. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Given the way things have been going lately, I'm not even going to take a guess on that one. And you can always buy down your interest rate or ask the seller to do it for you. Banks and mortgage lenders are constantly coming up with new and creative ways to make loans, so it never hurts to take a look at what programs are available. But look, even though I think it's a good time to buy a home right now, it still might not be the right time for you personally. I get it. That's kind of a judgment call on your end. But I hope that I've at least given you some good food for thought so that you have all the information you need in order to make that choice. And if after you think it over, you decide that, yeah, Maybe this is the right time to buy a home. Well then, don't forget who gave you all that good advice. <laughs> get in touch and let's get started looking for that house. And if you decide that you're more comfortable waiting a while, that's okay too. You know where to find me when you're ready. My contact info is right down there. <laughs> and until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.